So this video is just a quick review on Schrag identities. So in high school you would have spent a lot of time working on um, identities, improving identities. So there's some that you should uh, know and have memorized that will help you um, in various calculus courses in university. So the first one, of course, is the equation of a unit circle, um, which is sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So that's a good one to know. You can substitute in, so if you're proving identities and you see sine squared um, x or theta or whatever plus cos squared x, is then you can substitute that in with a 1 to simplify. So that's good to know. Um, you should also know some of these basics. So before we go to the other ones down below, you should know that tan of x is equal to sine x over cos x. Okay, and then we should know um, these, there's six main trig functions, so sine, cos, tan, and then also there's cos secant x, which is 1 over sine x. Okay, so the reciprocal of sine, and then there's secant x, which is 1 over cos x, and then there's cotan x, which is 1 over tan x or I can just flip um, cos x over sine x. Okay, so you should definitely know those, um, those three for sure. And then there's a couple more identities down here. So I have tan squared x plus one is equal to secant squared x, and then one plus cotan squared x is equal to cosecant squared x. So I'm not going to prove any of these. You did them uh, probably a lot in high school. So I'll leave that for now, but these are important to just have memorized and including these three other um, trig functions as well. Okay, let's see a few more identities that might come in handy in university calculus. Okay, so this sheet might look eerily familiar to you from your exam in high school. Um, it also looks familiar to me from so many years ago. It hasn't changed in a really long time. So, um, looking at the top here, I can see that I have these three main trig identities that I just talked about on the last slide. So the sum and difference identities are going to be these ones here, so these six identities here. Okay, so um, the first, or the sine and the cos ones especially are important to know. Um, the tan one might also come up as well in calculus. But I know for a fact that the sine and the cos ones, they can come up in problems. I was working in a lab one day, and one of them did come up, and I had forgotten it in which order it came in, whether it was plus or minus. Um, so the way that I remember it now is that the sine, so if it's sine alpha minus beta, they'll both be minus minus. The cos ones will be opposite, so if you're subtracting the angles, you're going to add in here. And then for sine, it's going to be sine cos cos sine, and then for cos is going to be cos cos sine sine. So however you want to commit that to memory, you should have those ones memorized. Um, the tans one, tan ones aren't too bad either. You can also get there by using sine over cos as well and simplifying it. Okay, and let's just see a few more. So there's also these double angle identities, which are down here. So these ones here might help you out as well. Um, so if I have sine of 2 alpha or 2 theta, whatever, double the angle, it's the same thing as I can get rid of that double angle by changing it to 2 sine alpha cos alpha. So there's these double angle formulas that are equivalent to um, identities without, so they're identities, they're equivalent to expressions without the double angle in them, so it could simplify, especially when you're proving identities, it's better to substitute any double angles with something that doesn't have a double angle. Okay, but that's it. Thanks for watching.